Joanna Ross. How you doing tonight? 
Awesome, where are you from? I think you said New Jersey. Okay, you slurred the whole thing, but that's why I knew you were from New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey too, and I'm totally not. Is anyone else here from New Jersey? Do you guys know our state slogan? Do you guys know the state slogan? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna blow your minds. It's New Jersey, come see for yourself. That's it. It's, yeah, I'm serious. It's like, look, New Jersey, I'm fucking taken. I, wait, is that, are you still asking me if I'm serious? I am, I, am, I am totally serious. I've been doing that joke for seven fucking years, okay? And I just looked it up just to make sure for you guys tonight, it's still the fucking thing. But I think, you guys know Chris Christie, right? Yeah. I think he's trying to change it. Oh, totally, boo. Um, but I think he's trying to change it. Have you seen that commercial? Stronger than stars. I'm stronger than stars. You better be stronger than your fucking lap band surgery, okay, asshole? You know people that have gotten it. Yeah. It's like you gotta eat a peanut every half hour, which I believe is why he's that way, because he didn't eat a peanut every half hour. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking outside the box. You guys like to vacation? What's your favorite vacation spot? Jersey. <laughs> Lady with three kids. Lady with three kids. She's like, I just gotta get the fuck out of the house. I don't fucking care where I'm going. Um, what's your favorite one? It Italy. Anyone here like Vegas? <laughs> that yeah, girlfriend that got tied up. She knows Vegas. All right. Um, you get tied up. Well, you, did you just fucking walk in here? She put underwear on the teeth. What do you mean? You missed that part? Are you yeah. wasted? Who's my stoners? Who are my stoners? In the, in the back. Awesome. Yeah, you have no idea what's happening. Great. I have no clothes on right now. I look awesome. Um, okay, okay, let me tell you something about smoking pot. I thought I should stop when I turned 30. Is anyone here about to turn 30? Get your shit together? Fucking don't do it. I'm about to turn 40. I'm like, I'm going to start smoking pot again because 30 sucks. Okay. Anyway. Oh, wait. Who's in their 30s? Is it going well? this story and this storyline. I went there. In 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes I was in Vegas, I got into a cab. The cab smelled like weed. And I was like, woo, smelled like weird weed in here. And, hey, I'm telling a story in the back, stoners. Listen up. Um, thank you, because these guys want to know the story. So I get into the cab. The cab driver's like, I'm so sorry. The last people that were in the cab were smoking pot. And I dropped them off at the airport, and they gave me all their weed. And I was like, that's an amazing story, sir. So we're, you know, going along, going along, driving around, driving around, still not getting anywhere because it's all traffic -y. He stops, looks back at me, he goes, all right, you're really cool, and you're not a cop. It's my weed, and I smoke it all the time. <laughs> Would you like to smoke some weed? And I was like, fuck yeah, because you're going to smoke with your cab driver. morning, why are we all taking showers? It's awesome. Okay, whatever. Um, what else? Hey, I think we're a country that um, we want everything now. Like, no, faster, no. Like, get the next girl up here, no. Which is fine, but sometimes I think it's not fine. Like, do you know that there's a pregnancy test out there that tells you right away, right away, right away that you're pregnant? And I'm like, well, that's great, but do you have any technology to tell him? <laughs> or find him? Because all I have is this Facebook fan page, and I think that is really inappropriate to put on someone's wall. <laughs> hey, Daddy. What if I created an event? <laughs> Make him the administrator. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of ladies, so I think I should ask this question here. How many, has anyone here said no? To be in a bridesmaid. Yes. You are the Rosa Parks of 2013. <laughs> right? She's a fucking trailblazer. You can't do it. And who here wants to be a bridesmaid? Exactly nobody. All right. Here's the thing. All you guys have to do is like 
rent a tuxedo, look hot and go. We spent $750 with like a tablecloth. Yeah, and then we get all the shitty jobs. Everyone up here is like, yes, yes, all the shitty jobs. The, the bride's like, hey, you wanna come over for seven hours and tie tiny ribbons around tiny fucking soap and say Linda and Larry forever? No, thanks, though. What about that hat you have to make about the bows that come on gifts? Like, what am I, a season project runway? <laughs> Haven't you guys ever wondered why bridesmaids are so slutty at weddings? It's our reward. <laughs> I'll end with this. You guys like subways, you like taking the subway. I love subway, I love the subway announcement. Anyone here take the subway? Awesome. I like the subway announcements. My favorite one is a crowd is trained. There's no excuse for sexual misconduct. I'm like, first of all, it's a great fucking excuse. <laughs> Why do you think I'm riding the train at 6.05? I don't have a job. But they just changed it. It's a crowd is trained. There's no defense for sexual misconduct. I'm like, who's going into the court and saying, hey judge, I am really sorry. It was so crowded. I had to finger bang her. <laughs> My name's Joanna Rossi.